Singapore, Uber has no reason to believe that the massive global data breach it suffered in 2016 is linked to the phantom rides being reported by some Singapore users, the ride-sharing company said on Wednesday, November 22. We have no reason to believe these two events are linked, an Uber spokesperson said in response to queries from Channel News Asia. The incident in 2016 did not breach our corporate systems or infrastructure, and our outside forensics experts have not seen any indication that trip location history, credit card numbers, bank account numbers, NRIC or dates of birth were downloaded, she added. In response to queries on whether Singapore users were affected by the global data breach, the Uber spokesperson said that the company is in the process of notifying various regulatory and government authorities, and that it expects to have ongoing discussions with them. Until we complete that process we aren't in a position to get into any more details, the spokesperson added. Singapore's Personal Data Protection Commission said it is aware of the data breach and is in touch with Uber for more details. On Tuesday, Uber disclosed that hackers had stolen the personal data of about 57 million riders and drivers of the service in 2016, and that the company had kept the breach for more than a year after paying a 100,000 US dollar ransom. The news came a day after Channel News Asia reported that several Uber users in Singapore had complained this month of being charged for rides they never took, often in faraway places. The victims were charged in foreign currencies including the US dollar, euro and British pound, with some of the billings coming up to thousands of dollars. A spokesperson from Uber had earlier said that their team was reviewing this incident and would address it accordingly. In response to a query from Channel News Asia about the 2016 data breach and whether any Singaporeans were affected, a spokesperson for Singapore's Land Transport Authority said it was aware of the situation and has reached out to Uber for more information.